Hi students, now we are going to discuss about concurrent forces and Lamy's theorem. But what is meant by concurrent forces? But a collection of forces is said to be concurrent. Well, if the line of force acts a common act at a common point, but a collection of force. F1, F2, F3. In the lines on the end side, the meet point of the common point. That means O. In the common point, the meet point is the same. This is the same concurrent force. The concurrent force need not be in the same plane. One plane is not the same plane. Suppose, if the concurrent force is the same plane, it is the same plane. That is a coplanar. If they are in the same plane, they are concurrent as well as coplanar forces. But suppose in the plane, 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 in if you look at this, it is made a common point in one point. One point is made a concurrent as well as co-planner. This is called concurrent forces and co-planner forces. Now, we will call this concurrent forces and co-planner forces. We will call Lamy's theorem the definition. Now, the Lamy's theorem is a statement. The statement of Lamy's theorem is very very important. Uh, two mark or three mark question. Check. If a system of three concurrent and coplanar forces in equilibrium, if I, then Lamy's theorem said that the magnitude of each force of the system is proportional to sine of the angle between other two forces. If I, then I should run, if three forces, if I, then three. Uh, concurrent forces or coplanar forces. This uh, is the common point line. No? And the, and the, and the, and the equilibrium state line. No? Right. This is F1, F1 vector. Another one force, F2 vector. Another one force, F3 vector. So, right. the three forces acting at a common point. So, common point is concurrent concurrent force of the number. So, here, if this is the magnitude of each force, if the magnitude of each force is directly proportional to sign of the angle between other two forces. But, if this is the force of the number of the number. If this is the angle of the number of the number, in the mother end to force order, angle will be directly proportional. If the mother end is the angle and then as well, that is alpha. If the F2 force, if the magnitude of MSR will come in, if the magnitude of F2 is directly proportional to sign of the angle between other two forces, other two forces in the angle, either of the beta. If the mother end is the angle, gamma. So, now, let's go to the equation. How do you say? Magnitude of force is directly proportional to Magnitude of one of the force is directly proportional to Sign of the angle between two other two forces. Then, what is it? Alpha. Then, what is it? Sign alpha. Next, F2 is the magnitude of F2 vector that is directly proportional to sin beta next f3 vector is directly proportional to sin gamma this is equation number first this is equation number second this is equation number third in the directly proportional angle chapter in the equal to contour the gana one of them our constant quarter number number f1 is equal to f1 this is the model circle. That means magnitude. F1 of F1 vector is equal to 
K and sin alpha. Then F2, modulus of F2 vector is equal to K and sin beta. Next, modulus of F3 vector is equal to K and sin gamma. K means a proportionality constant. Yeah. So, K is equal to in the sin alpha kilo of modulus of f vector divided by sin alpha. Aba modulus of f1 vector divided by sin alpha. And next is K is equal to modulus of f2 vector is divided by sin beta. Next is k is equal to a modulus of f3 vector is divided by sin gamma. But in the name k knowledge. So this is the So element equal. Therefore, therefore, f1 vector modulus of f1 vector divided by sin alpha is equal to modulus of f2 vector divided by sin beta is equal to modulus of f3 vector divided by sin gamma is all equal yeah equal that's the answer so equal three that's all the law means theorem law means theorem it is a useful problem you know? yeah law means theorem is useful to analyze the force acting on object which are in static equilibrium. For static equilibrium, the force act on the left, analyze from the figure number, use from the right. Okay, that's all.